Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing an updated version of my tattoo tag. This video has actually been on my channel for a few years now. It's been three and a half years since I actually did this video and I thought I would give you a little bit update on like how my tattoos look now, also if the meanings have changed since having them for a while and also any new ones that I have. I'm going to get straight into this video so I hope you all enjoy. I'm going to take it all the way back to 2011 when I was 18 years old and when I got my first tattoo. So my first tattoo is on my ribs. It is very special to me. It's probably one of my most special tattoos on me. Um, my tattoo says on my ribs, promise till the end. Basically, I got this tattoo for a reminder of my granddad. Now, my granddad passed away when I was 17. It, it wasn't a shock. He, um, had cancer. He had many different cancers. I'm going to get teary because my granddad meant a lot to me. And I knew that I wanted to get a tattoo for him. And what a better way to do it than get my first tattoo. And it was all to do with him. So basically, um, promise till the end means that I promised my granddad that I would never smoke. Um, that's, you know, cigarettes, drugs, all that kind of stuff. Even though I'm not into it whatsoever. Um, I promised my granddad that I would never um, smoke at all and to this day I've still kept that promise I've never broken it I've never wanted to break it I've never been interested in breaking it I've kept my promise to my granddad um, six years strong and I'm really happy that I have kept that promise to him in 2012 I got my thigh piece done now there's two parts of this thigh piece so I will talk about like my anchor um, in this and then I'll talk about the other parts um, later down in the video because I got that later on so my anchor means quite a bit to me so basically I got this anchor when I was I think I was about 19 years old so 2000 2012 I would have been 19 years old and I got it because I was suffering from depression at the time I had suffered from depression for about three years and I didn't really overcome depression until I was about 20 so I had depression for a few years but the reason why I got I got this tattoo is because obviously anchors are really heavy and they go to the bottom of the sea so they're, they're heavy, they weigh you down, you know, you don't move anywhere. Um, so basically I got the anchor because that is how I felt with life. I just felt heavy, I just felt weighed down, I just felt, felt like I was getting deeper and deeper into obviously a bad state of mind. And that is why I decided to get the anchor because obviously it showcased the bad part of my life. Um, but the words on it, so it says strength lies within. And basically I got that um, at the time of getting my anchor because I was discovering that I could overcome my depression with um, knowing that the strength I had within, deep within, could overcome my depression and basically it did so that is why I got those words this tattoo is on my hip and now this looked completely different a uh, a couple of years ago but it has definitely changed and I am so happy that it has because it means so much more to me now now that it looks a little bit different so on my hip i have a tattoo and it says you are beautiful remember now as you can tell by um the picture of the tattoo it does look a little bit i guess munted you could when i was pregnant with my son i got a few stretch marks and unfortunately the stretch marks went straight through my tattoo and at the time i was really upset that it i guess ruined the tattoo but after having my son and dealing with a lot of things about my body and confidence and, you know, you know, body image and all that kind of stuff, I started to actually really like the idea that there was stretch marks through this tattoo. Basically, the tattoo I got was because I never found myself beautiful when I was growing up. I never did, even though I got told by family and friends and everything, I never really um thought I was personally and so I got that tattoo to remind myself that I am beautiful even though I don't think I am um or thought I was um that I have to remember that I am beautiful and now that I've got stretch marks 
through it, it kind of means a lot more to me. I do have imperfections, but I can still be beautiful. So back to my thigh, guys. So I got the rest of my thigh piece, which are my six roses in 2000. And 13 it could have been 2012 or so I can't remember I know there was a little bit of a gap between my tattoos um, but it could have been also 2012 I don't really remember it six roses mean um, one for each family member so I've got my brother my two sisters my mum, and my dad and also one for myself so that is why I got my six roses. Looking back at my old video, I did um, say in that video that I would get roses for any children that I had later in life. And now that I do have a child, I definitely don't want to get a rose. I want to get him a special tattoo just for himself. I don't want to get like a rose because all of my other family members have roses. But I want to get a tattoo just for himself. So I will not be getting any more roses um, that I know personally yet or anymore. Um, so yeah, just these. So my next tattoo is actually on my back, so like my back shoulder. And this is another big piece. This is like my second big piece that I have on my body. I got this tattoo because something a little bit like my hip tattoo, but I got this tattoo mainly because owls are like one of my favorite animals. I only have a few favorite animals, but owls are like my top one. The part of why I got this tattoo was because owls only come out really at night. Um, to, you know, go hunting and go get food or whatever. Um, but basically, owls only came out, out at night, so they basically hide away all day. And it's kind of what I felt like, um, you know, not feeling beautiful and all this kind of stuff. I just felt like I needed a hideaway um, and not let anyone see me. But at night, it was okay if people saw me because it was in the dark and you don't actually get to see me, like, full flesh I guess because we're in the dark. So my second last tattoo I have for you guys is on my arm and I got this done in 2014 with my last tag video I actually got it done like a week or so before I did that video so it was like still fresh had like scabs on it and everything. I got this tattoo mainly because I adore cats. I've always had cats in my life since I was a little girl. We always had a cat. I don't know how many cats I've had in my life but we've always had a cat around. I was depressed. I always had my cat around to I guess get me out of the slumps and when I wanted someone to you know comfort me and um, you know give me a little bit of love my cat was always there for me and you know, she would always come up to me and give me a cuddle and, you know, smooch my face and all kind of stuff like that. And they really helped me at the one of the darkest times of my life. They were always there. I could always depend on my cats to come and comfort me. And my last tattoo, and basically the only tattoo you have seen in this video of me talking, is the one on my hand. Now, this is my most recent tattoo. I only got it... Uh, I don't even know, like a month ago. Um, it was a long gap between my arm tattoo and this tattoo. It was like three years, guys, of not getting any tattoos. And I wish I got some more, but more tattoos are coming our way shortly. And my partner, Jason, who is my husband, um, we decided to get matching tattoos. And we were going to get these on our fingers, but we decided to get it on our hand just so... They were a bit bigger and we could see the details a little bit more. So, um, we got crowns. He's obviously got the king crown and I've got the queen. Um, and the reason why we got um, crowns was... Um, there's like two reasons why. So, basically, we got crowns because um, we're obviously husband and wife. So, um, I guess you could say we're king and queen. Um, so that is why we got it to resemble our relationship as husband and wife. But we also got it to, I guess, um, represent, um, you know, being the leaders in the pack in our family. Because obviously we do have a son now. So he um, is obviously like our little prince and we're the king and queen. So we're kind of like the leaders and then... You know, our children's are like the followers. Like, no, I was really scared about getting a hand tattoo. I never thought I would get one. I'm really happy I do have one now because it kind of makes me feel like a little bit more powerful that I have this hand tattoo. Um, and I love showing it. I love talking with my hands now because of this hand tattoo. That is all the tattoos I have. 
at the moment. I wish I had more to show you guys, but unfortunately I don't. I all hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, let me know out of all my tattoos which one you like the best. And also, if you have any tattoos yourself, I would love to know what you have or like one of the ones you have, if you have like a gazillion. But anyway, I'm going to get going so I can call my husband back because uh, he called me. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.